So I, I think, again, I, like looking at the story, helping us ourselves find ourselves in the story is always really important. The letter that Jeremiah is writing to the exiles in Babylon, I think is really formative for us. And his encouragement is when you are the minority of a community, um, trying to hold fast to the teachings of Yahweh um, and trying to just be a, a, a countermeasure in a space that's trying, it's, it's socially engineered to change you. The best approach is to garden. The best approach is to pray for the city. The best approach is to marry and have kids and to live an abundant life. And which sounds like really weird, but historically works well. A lot of what was weaponizing against the black community and coming over here was the trying to dehumanize of black bodies. And the main attempt at doing that was to separate family. Because um, if I can separate you from your family, if I can sell you to a different place, uh, it furthers this idea that you are not connected to anything deeper than just yourself. The most counterproductive thing I could do to push back against a culture that's trying to dehumanize me is to authentically be as human as possible. So in, in black communities, when they, when they still chose to get married and they still chose to like be in their families and their communities, um, drove slave owners crazy. <laughs> Because they, they couldn't keep holding on to their assumption that this person is not human and they keep making they keep showing themselves as human over and over and over again.